learning more and more about COVID-19 every day, and contrary to some reports, people with asthma are actually not at increased risk of contracting the virus compared to the general population. However, that does not mean people with asthma should not take precautions to avoid contracting it. Now, to clear up any confusion here, we welcome Dr. Ghassan Kamel, who is a flu <coughs> care pulmonologist. Good morning to you, doctor. Good morning. Thank you for having me. You are most welcome. Now, people with asthma do not have a higher risk, but they do have a higher risk of residual complications. Explain. Yes, for, from the study so far, the asthma patients are not at increased risk from contracting the virus uh, compared to the general population. However, if they get the virus, they are at increased risk of having serious complications from it, uh, like any other virus. So they are at increased risk of having serious asthma attacks. Uh, resulting in them be, uh, going to the emergency room and sometimes being hospitalized and even being on life support in, in the intensive care unit. So that's why it's very important for asthma patients and patients with any chronic lung disease to take the necessary precautions recommended by the CDC. And you mentioned both asthma and COVID are respiratory diseases. Some of the symptoms are the same. So how does a person with asthma know that they may be infected with COVID? Yes, you're right. It's the, uh, COVID and asthma both can uh, have cough and, and some shortness of breath. So th the patients should work closely with their either their primary care doctor or their pulmonologist to, uh, to, to get familiar with their usual baseline asthma symptoms. And if they notice any significant change in their cough or shortness of breath that is not their usual symptoms that they deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, then, then they should be. They should have a plan with their physician on how to address those, and maybe contact their physician to see if it's worth being tested for uh, COVID at that time. And, and speaking of testing, doctor, is it a smart idea for a person with asthma to get routine COVID testing, or only when symptoms are present? The, I, I, I think it's only for uh, when they have symptoms and after discussion with their doctors. So far, there is no role for routine testing uh, as of yet. The most important thing is to take the necessary precautions, again, with hand, hand hygiene, mask, and social distancing. So they should just kind of go, and um, we're seeing video of, of the, I believe it's a nebulizer or an inhaler. They should kind of pro, uh, proceed with their normal asthma protocol unless something changes. Correct. So they should be, they should, it's very important to continue taking their usual asthma uh, inhalers. As in order to be able to control, keep their asthma under control and, and the inflammation in their airway under control uh, so that they don't have an asthma attack just because they were not taking their medications. And so far, we don't have any evidence that the inhaled steroids that we use for asthma usually puts you at increased risk of uh, contracting the, the virus. Interesting. I did not know that until today. So thank you for clearing it up, doctor. We appreciate thank your you. time so much. And for all of those who want to learn more, we will provide a link for you on our website as well as our Fox 2 mobile app.